The color of human blood can be quite fascinating, especially when we move away from typical circumstances. We often assume that blood is red, but in reality, the color of an object depends on the properties of the object itself, the light source, and the detector. If we use a light source that contains all the visible colors except red and shine it onto the blood, the blood will be green. This is because blood mostly reflects red light, but it also reflects a little bit of green light. So, let's have a look into this. You are watching Lecture It. In a study published in the journal Applied Spectroscopy, Martina Meinke and her colleagues measured the diffuse reflectance of human blood and found that blood mostly reflects red light, with a little bit of green light. They also found that the reflectance spectrum of blood slightly changes for different hematocrit and oxygen saturation values, but the overall trend remains the same. Therefore, the reflectance spectrum of blood shown in the study is a good representation of the reflectance of any human's blood. Even deoxygenated blood follows these trends and is dominantly red, not blue. Under typical circumstances, the healthy human eye can detect all colors of visible light, and the incident light typically contains all colors of visible light in nearly equal proportions. Therefore, we can treat the color of an object as only depending on the properties of the object itself. However, when we move away from typical circumstances, we have to use the more complete description of color, which involves the light source, the object, and the detector. This is exactly what happens deep in the ocean. Water absorbs some of the red light passing through, making it naturally slightly blue-colored. The deeper you go in the ocean, the less red light there is in the sunlight that reaches you. This means that only green light reflects from the blood. If you shine a light on the blood that contains green light but no red light, the green color of blood becomes obvious. It may be startling for divers who get a cut while diving deep in the ocean, as the brighter red color is no longer present. However, the blood does not change its color. The green color of blood is always present, but it becomes obvious when there is no red color present. It is important to note that objects do not have an intrinsic color. The color of an object is determined by the color content of the incident light that is illuminating the object, the way the object reflects, absorbs, and transmits the incident colors of light, and the way in which the detector detects and interprets the colors of light coming from the object. Therefore, blood can be obviously green any time you have a light source with no red color, and not just in the deep ocean. In conclusion, while the color of blood is typically red, the presence of green color in blood is always there. The green reflectance peak of blood is always present, but we usually do not notice it because there is typically so much more red light being reflected by the blood. However, the green color of blood becomes obvious when there is no red color present in the light source, as is the case in the deep ocean.